Let's follow the path of Dusty's Trail, oh Dusty's Trail, Dusty's Trail. A stage and a wagon are heading west, part of a wagon train lost from the rest. Dusty's the reason for their plight, thanks to Dusty, nothing's right. Only the wagon master's hand keeps them a rolling to the promised land. All oh, the going gets mighty rough, but they don't seem to mind. It's California, a eh? that's the place they must find. Deserts and rocks are in their way, but they won't stop, come what may. Mountains and hills that they must scale But they know they'll make it Cause they just can't fail On Dusty's Trail I don't know, it's supposed to be buffalo country I haven't seen one I saw one Why didn't you shoot him? I didn't want to make him mad You ever see the horns in one of those fellas? Yeah, yeah. I guess we ought to get on back. Rest of them ought to be awake by now, huh? I kind of hate to leave this place. It's so peaceful. Yeah, sure is. <laughs> I think we got company. What, are you crazy? Nobody around here for miles and miles and miles. Oh, hi, neighbor. Nice day, isn't it? Start trailing. Hey, I'd be careful where you're pointing those guns, fellas. Mr. Callahan's kind of touchy. Yeah, I don't like nobody pointing guns at me till I've been proper introduced. Well, now, here, I'm certainly like, glad to make your acquaintance, sir. You know. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Yes. Right. Yes. Oh, yes, well, yes, thank you. Thank you. Yes, yes, sir. <laughs> Listen, are you, are you guys after money? I mean, I got some in the bank in Kansas City. I'd be happy to go get it for you. I'll help him carry it. Mister, one more step and your wife will be a widow. Oh, I'm not married. I, wa I wasn't really stepping anyway. Then your wife will be a widow. I'm not even engaged, but I'm not stepping either, see? <laughs> yes, sir. You're just the guys we're looking for. Well, if you're not after money, what do you want? You might do something to cheer up our sisters. Poor Elvira and Cleo. Practically to the altar when Clarence and Harvey up and cashed in their chips. Oh, that's too bad. What did they die of? You might say it's a bad case of lead poison. Accident? Nope. It's more like on purpose. <laughs> uh, oh, well, well, I can see how your sisters would need some cheering up. Sure enough, losing their grooms like that, huh? Yeah, we'd be happy to cheer him up. Uh, Mr. Callahan can tell him jokes. I know. He does great turkey gobbler. He does it so good we almost lost him one Thanksgiving. <laughs> <laughs> That's not exactly what we had in mind. We were thinking about words, you might say. Words would make them gals happy again. What words? Just two short ones. I do. You don't. We do. <laughs> Listen, we don't even know your sisters. They gotta be kidding. Yeah. They're not kidding. Is anything wrong? Callahan and Dusty aren't here. Oh, well, last night they said they were going hunting this morning. And the horses are all here. They must have gone on foot. Well, now, in that case, we ought to be able to track them. Yeah. Here's some footprints leading away from the wagon. Hey, what do you say we follow them, Mr. Brookhaven? Ah, uh, I'm a banker, not a bloodhound. Carlton! Oh, very well. We'll just wait right here while Buck gets the girls. You're about to meet up with two pretty fillies. Pretty one? Careful, mister. You're talking about my sisters. <laughs> I was only joking. I mean, you ask us to be cheerful. Yeah, that's what we are. Cheerful. <laughs> then how about a smile? Yeah, we're smiling, but from the inside. Yeah, well, just from the outside, we're miserable. I'll give you something to be happy about. In about two minutes, you're going to be popping the question, and Elvira and Cleo will be saying yes. Yeah, well, maybe they won't say yes. Maybe they won't even like us. <laughs> oh, they'll like you, all right. Well, what if we don't like them? You'll like them. Yeah, we'll like them. We'll like them. <laughs> Uh, 
I think I kind of envy those guys out there under the dirt. I think they took the easy way out. Hey, uh, Byron, meet up with, uh... uh yeah, Callahan. That's, uh, my name is Cal... Uh, this is Dusty. Howdy. 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 Come on, Clint. War's coming. Six of the crowd. The boys here have something to ask you. We'll be right outside. <laughs> I kind of like the big one. Oh, all right, then I'll take the shrimp. <laughs> Come on, boys, let's sit down. Huh? Yeah. Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> Buck says you have something you want to ask him. Ask him? No, I can't think of anything that we... Uh, can you think of anything that we were going to ask him? I can't think of anything I'd ask him. <laughs> I'm sure Clint said you had a question you all wanted to ask us. Oh, that question, yes, yeah, well, the, the boys told us that we had to ask you, uh, I mean, they told us that we wanted to ask, uh, ask you if, uh, well, we, we couldn't all have a drink. That's the question, that's right. It. <laughs> Say, that sounds like a good idea. Yeah, help us all get better acquainted. We'll be right back. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Let's get out of here while we're still alive and single. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> We're alive, free, and single. Hey, stop talking. Let's start running. Huh? <laughs> going somewhere? Uh, well, we was just going out for a little air. You see, it was it was warm in there. Warm was it? I can put a few holes in you to cool you off. <laughs> You don't have to tie us up. We're not going anywhere. Did you boot you or not? You fellas might as well know the truth. Buck and me, we're desperate. We want to get to California, make us a fortune. But we promised Plop on his deathbed that we wouldn't leave the gals less than they was hitched and had somebody to take care of them. Yeah, well, why us? Why not somebody else? Because you're here and somebody else ain't. He's got a point there. Hey, whose side are you on? We had two other guys all set, but they tried to run out of us. So you see, you ain't got much choice. It's either marrying or joining Clarence and Harvey out there. Huh? Oh, yeah, well, the more I think about it, the more attractive those ladies get, huh? <laughs> You're thinking, mister. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Why did you say that? I'm not marrying either one of those girls, and my life depends on it. Neither am I. I'm just trying to give ourselves a breathing spell till we can break out of here. Oh, you had me worried for a minute. Hey, listen, see if you can reach the notch down on my wrist, will you? Okay. Uh, oh, I think I've got it. Yeah? Yeah. Good. Yeah, I've got it, yeah. Yeah? Okay. Oh, I'm working on it. Yeah. There. I'm getting it. I'm uh, getting it. Uh, nope. No, no? What happened? I've been tugging on my thumb. <laughs> oh, uh, listen, there's just one little latch on that door. Maybe if we can kind of jump over there, you know? Oh, okay. All right, let's give it a try. Here you go. Oh. Oh, no, wait, whoa, whoa. We ain't, we're not getting nowhere this way. Uh -uh. Have you ever been a papoose? Papoose? Yeah, you know how they carry them Indian kids on the back? Uh, hang tight. We're free, we're free. I don't know how I'm going to thank you, Mr. Callahan, for saving my life. Will you stop, blubbering? Let's just get out of here. Had a boy, Mr. Callahan. Keep going. <laughs> What's the matter? That's the matter. <laughs> do you see what I see? I do. But I don't believe it. Getting some more fresh air? No, we were trying to escape. <laughs> Dusty. Don't know why you fellas are carrying on so. We ain't asking you to love them gals. All you gotta do is marry them. Yeah, but we'd make lousy husbands. <laughs> yeah, we like to be bachelors. Yeah, yeah. Every man likes being a bachelor. We all gotta go sometime. This time everything's gonna be done proper like. First the courting, then hugging, then proposing. First the courting, then the hugging, then the proposing, uh, in that order. Huh. In any order. You name it. <laughs> Maybe we ought to jump them. Are you joking? Either one of those monstrous brutes could tear us in half. Well, we can't stand by and do nothing. I have no intention to. I was about to propose a very definite plan of action. What? Let's go back to the wagon and tell the ladies we're in trouble. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 
what I told you, want you ladies to think we're too forward, but when you see beauty that's so overpowering it just makes your heart hammer, well, there's just nothing you can do but come out and say so. Now, that's a mighty fine speech. I agree. You do? Yep, that was a mighty fine speech. Yeah, you know, I was about to say the same thing myself. You two girls are something else. <laughs> a few minutes ago, you acted like you could hardly wait to get out of here. Yeah, well, that, we were just overcome by emotion, you know. We just couldn't go on and speak out. Yeah, we never met two girls like you before. <laughs> Dusty, don't pay these girls compliments like that. They just must be hearing them all the time. Oh. <laughs> Papa used to say our eyes was prettier than the heifers. But don't you think I'm a little too... What, a plump? Why, fiddlesticks. I mean, a girl with a figure like yours? What, the extra 30, 40 pounds don't hardly show. <laughs> you boys certainly know how to sweet talk a girl. No, that ain't sweet talk. I mean, not when you've got a proper inspiration. Yeah, and we got plenty of inspiration. <laughs> uh, listen, would you, uh, would you pardon us? Just meant Dusty come in. Well, that's the moment of truth. Which one you want? Oh, it's like having a choice between being trampled by an elephant or eaten by a buzzard. Yeah. Well, I'll take the elephant. I'll take the buzzard. <laughs> well, now, Elviry, uh, I haven't known you for very long, but there's something that I've, I've got to ask you. Big boy, if you're proposing, the answer is yeah! <laughs> yeah, 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 well. Leo, <laughs> there comes a time in every man's life when he wishes he was dead. I mean, he wishes he was dead right when he chooses his girl, and I guess I'm... Sweetheart. I accept. <laughs> I've got it. I've got just the thing. Andy, what is it? Well, I remember reading in a new scientific journal about a chemical discovery. I think I've succeeded in duplicating the formula. Andy, this is no time to be playing mad scientist. Callahan and Dusty are in trouble. If this chemical does just half of what it's supposed to do, Callahan and Dusty will soon be free as birds. Bachelor birds. Welcome to the family, brothers-in-laws. Hey, well, not just yet. Uh, I mean, you see, we, we believe in long engagements. Boy, that's all right with us, right, Clint? Sure. <laughs> Till tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow? Yep. The Marion Preacher's coming by to hitch the gals up with Clarence and Harvey. There'll be a change in names, that's all. Sure mm -hmm. nice to know the Preacher won't be coming for nothing. <laughs> Two men are still on guard. Are you sure this will work? It's called chloroform. And according to that article I read, a couple of whiffs of this and those two bruisers will be hearing Rockabye Baby. and we thought we'd say howdy. We hope you don't mind. Shucks, we don't mind. Do we, Glenn? Heck no. Best thing that's happened around here since the sheriff fell off his horse and broke his leg. <laughs> <laughs> well, we was thinking of opening up a dance school nearby and... Uh... A dancing school? Yeah. And I'll bet you I could teach you to do the waltz in just one little old lesson. Yeah, come here. Mm. Now, why don't you take those big arms and put them around my little waist and watch my feet? Ready? One, two, three. One, two, three. You sure have a wonderful physique. Pretty good muscles, too. Hey, you smell good. Oh, it's not me. It's my flowers. See? Boy, this waltzing sure is fun. <laughs> I, uh, I, I, uh... <laughs> Betsy, 
Lulu! Hey, you're just in time. Yeah, the preacher's coming tomorrow to marry us. Not if we can help it. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh. thank you. Thank you. Oh. oh, boy, I tell you. Hey, how'd you get past the guards? Don't worry about them. They're in slumberland. Yeah, now listen, we'll go first to make sure the coast is clear. And when you hear an owl hoot, you come a-running. Come a running. right. Ow. Here we got you. You got that. Uh-huh, yeah. Oh, I'll never forget Lulu and Betsy for this. <laughs> they saved us from a fate worse than... Hey, that sound like an owl to you? <laughs> I just thought of a way to show our appreciation to Betsy and Lulu. Oh? Huh? I'll give these to Betsy. Hey, that's a good idea. I'll give these to Lulu. Oh, I bet they really like these, huh? Hey, they smell good, don't they? Mm. Huh? Yeah. Mm. We better get going before it's too new. Mm. Hey, Dusty, there's no time to take it. Nah, 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 nah. Hey. And then Dusty and Callahan smelled the flowers and passed out. Now, you mustn't blame yourselves, my dears. Perhaps you can try again tomorrow. Tomorrow will be too late. The preacher comes tomorrow to tie the knots. That soon? Yeah, just 24 little hours. Suppose the preacher were to arrive before tomorrow, like uh, today, for example, huh? Your work, he who cuts his own wood is twice blessed. Amen. Amen. Well, they expect preacher Waldo till tomorrow. I'm afraid the good brother was gone to his just dessert. Gone? Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Reverend Brookhaven is my name, brother. And this here is my helpmate in joy and sorrow, Mrs. Reverend Brookhaven. Pleased to meet you. You regular reverend. Ordained by this book for preaching, funeralizing, and baptizing. How about weddings? Oh, when the reverend joins them, you can't separate them with a crowbar. <laughs> reverend, I think you and us can do some business. I just know I'm going to cry. I always cry at weddings. I know a couple men are going to cry at this wedding. Which reminds me, I'd better go get the grooms. Sure lucky thing for us Reverend King. Well, here come the brides. I was a bean. This is cruel and inhuman punishment. Thank you, Pat. It was beautiful. I've been practicing it for a long time. Smile, Dane, yeah. <laughs> Brother Ross, I want you to meet the man that's going to do the honor. Reverend Brookhaven. Wait a minute, he's not a... Don't be nervous, friend. Just leave it to the Reverend. As good book says, E pluribus unum and caveat emptor. Amen. Amen. All right, everybody. Not hitching time. Brothers and sisters, we are gathered here to usher four people into the holy bonds of matrimony. Get on with it, Reverend. These gals ain't getting any younger. According to the uh, assets and liabilities, and uh, with the power vested in me by the chairman of the board, uh, Callahan, Dusty, Cleo, Elvira, uh, um, um, uh, in sickness and in health, and Richard, um, I now pronounce you man and wife. I now pronounce you man and wife. But glory be! So far, so good. I just hope Mr. Brookhaven doesn't turn out to be a real reverend. Wait a minute. We know we're not married, but they don't. They're not going to ask you. Don't worry about that. Now listen. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> 
Hey! Well, well, ain't you going to kiss your bride? Sure, I can't well, wait. Well, I can certainly. <laughs> Hold it! <laughs> you are kissing the wrong girl. I married him to her and her to him. Well, unmarry him and start over again. I can't. I'm authorized to marry people, not to unmarry them. Well, do you mean to tell me that he is married to my daughter, Nelviri? I'm afraid so. Why, you're just a no-good skunk. You planned this for purpose so that you could steal my beautiful bride. You mean he pulled cat and you fixed it up so you could steal my beautiful Cleo? You are just a no-good varmint. That's what you are. Well, you're nothing but a no-good double low down Why, nobody varmint. can talk to me like that. <laughs> this calls for a duel. I just happen to have some pistols in my wagon. Now, just a minute. Can't we talk this over? No chance. He's demanded satisfaction. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we say 20 paces and fire at will? Make that 10 paces. I want to shoot that wife-stealing varmint right between the eyes. Make that five paces. My honor's at stake. Five paces it is. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, oh, they got me. Oh, I'm a goner. Goodbye, cruel world. Oh, he got me. Right in the gizzard. Gizzard? Yeah, gizzard. <laughs> They're just wounded, and we can nurse them back to hell. Too late. They're cold as mackerel. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Amen. Amen. We sure weren't married long, Cleo. Well, leastways, now we can tell folks we're widows. Come on, Buck. Let's get the shovels. No, no. It's all my fault. We'll take them to the nearest town, see they get a fit and burial. Don't mourn, brothers and sisters. Wherever they are, they're thinking of it. <laughs> I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. That, 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 that. Huh? Shut up. Huh? What? Uh, you get a little sleep, please. What? Well, you keep hollering, I don't, I don't, you know. I, oh, I was having the most terrible dream. My dream was being married to Cleo, and she kept saying, I do, I do, and I kept saying, I don't, I don't, I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't.